When I started working on the Verbus Electronics modules way back in 2013, the idea that I had was to bring together the experience I had doing live performances since the early 90s, together with some of the most classic concepts of, of synthesizers that were um, happening since the, the 60s from Buchla instruments, for instance, but also some of the other things, and connect together my experience using those to what I wished was there or how I wished that they would function. The Voltage Multistage was one of those original modules that, that I worked on at the very beginning. The concept was a module that would function not just as a sequencer, but any type of control voltage generator, whether that was a multi-stage envelope, an LFO of any shape, a sequencer with switchable slides and, and gates, and, and really anything in between undefined control voltage processors. The original idea came from the Buchla 248 or MARF, which I was so obsessed with that I had as a teenager, I had the brochure from it hanging on my wall, and I thought, someday I wanna, I wanna use this. This is, must be the ultimate. But then, as time went on, I actually got the opportunity to fix the one, or I got the and I got the opportunity to build some that were left over from the original stock at the factory, and I got to own one. And then I started to see what was missing because the concept that I had for interface-driven uh, modular that could be patched live, that could be used in the context of performance, wasn't there because with that system, it's effectively in memory that you select which stage you're working on and then click some momentary switches and you don't see what's, what's happening. Whereas I was able to take a lot of the functionality of that and bring it into something where everything's on the panel. It's important to me that we never go back. We just, we keep learning from the things that we do and we keep pushing ideas forward. I don't have an interest in making clones of old things. I have, I have an interest in learning from old things, drawing what's, what's great from them and then evolving the ideas to make more sense for now because a synthesizer that was designed in 1974 was designed at a time where the music that we make now didn't exist so we it's not about being smarter than them it's about moving with the times and evolving the ideas and learning the lessons that we've learned over those years whether those those lessons are from me personally learning those lessons or we collectively learning those lessons. At this point, when we go back to make the, the Voltage Multistage 16, it's an interesting twist because over the years, people ask me when they saw the Voltage Multistage, they said, it's only eight stages. When are you going to make it 16? And I think fundamentally to look at the voltage multistage as a sequencer is to miss out on the possibilities because it's a flexible platform that within the context of, of patching can be used in a lot of different ways and a sequencer is just one of those ways. And there have always been possibilities for using it as combination as a combination of a sequencer and an envelope and um, a modulator anyway but now with with some of the new functions we open up those possibilities even more so rather than just double the length of of something that already existed that we've been manufacturing for 12 years i went back to the to the design table to rethink the fundamentals of it, to change the core of the, the module and then expand it to double the length. But I think what we'll find with it is that the new functionality really begs for more stages. So it's while 16 steps is, is a really attractive uh, idea for standard thinking of using it as a sequencer, 16th notes, on the grid, 
but also we've cracked open a whole new world of possibilities where just having more is interesting and it happens to be 16. The user experience of making music involves a lot more than just things like the signal to noise ratio or the current consumption or all the specs. The user experience is about how it feels to reach out and touch something, how it feels to, to be inspired by a workflow. So there are decisions that are made along the way. If we use a thick powder coated panel with um, enamel silk screen on it, it costs more, but it's worth it because there's a substance and a feel to using those things. It makes a difference if, if you reach out and, and touch the controls, if they feel flimsy and wobbly versus feeling robust and, and serious. There's more to designing an interface than how many ins and outs do we have and how many controls do we put on it. My design philosophy is that there's a flow, the music flows from the musician out and through the, the instrument and out to the world. And within each module, there is a flow from the bottom of the modules. The CV inputs are at the bottom and the controls are in the middle and the, the bigger controls, the featured controls are the most important ones. And the, the outputs are at the top and are moving up and to the right. And then within the whole system, the music is flowing from the user through and up and to the right until it finally flows out to the, to the sound system or to where it's being recorded. And all of the decisions that are made along the way contribute to the user experience and contribute to the inspiration of a musician to actually express musical ideas.